Excuse me? Yeah. It is me. I saw your way back over there. I know you're about to get your back right now because it's really cold outside. But your hair, it looks really great on you. Oh, thank you. My name is Mazen. That was a good move. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to break down a student approaching a girl in the bike. If you want us to do the same for you, then send me an email and if it's good quality video and audio, I might break down your conversations as well. This channel is designed to help guys who are a bit more logical, like engineers, accountants, people who are analytical, take care of their dating life because a lot of the time we tend to get into our head and we're much better doing math rather than talking to girls. Let's get the clip started. Excuse me? Yeah. It is me. I saw your way back over there. I know you're about to get your bike right now because it's really cold outside. But your hair, it looks really great on you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How's your day been going? Pretty good. How are you? Mine's going good too. Cannot wait for spring break. Spring break! Yeah. Going anywhere? Oh yeah, the next week I'll be going to Austin. So first thoughts, this is a ballsy situation to stop someone. She's trying to figure out her bike. So props for starting the conversation. I would say this girl seems quite friendly. What are your yeah. thoughts? I. This is like who you would be yeah. if someone approached you. <laughs> now you're asking how, like uh, if I were that girl, uh, how I was like our feeling. Mm -hmm. And I feel that I, I were that girl. Like yeah. uh, she's very friendly, and I and I think that is good boarding. Yeah, that's good. In a situation like this, we'll see how things pan out. But whenever everyone's busy, like eating or maybe on the phone or maybe about to grab something, waiting for the bus, the first thing I usually do after giving a compliment is to say, "Hey, you know, I know you're just arranging your bike and you're probably about to go, but I wanted to say something." Just so the person can understand, okay, this guy is or, socially aware. Or you understand, or understand the, ¿por qué no puedo hablar? <laughs> understand the availability of the person. Exactly. You yeah. want to know, especially if someone's waiting for an Uber or the bus, you want to know how much time you potentially have. Because the worst thing that can happen is you're in the middle of a great conversation, the girl's loving it, and the bus comes, and she just goes, I have to go. And before you can take the number, she disappears into the void. Yeah, I went to Austin the last weekend for a mini birthday bash with my friends. Kind of like pregame in a way. Yeah. And then the next week will be the real fun begins. <laughs> what about you, though? Uh, I'm just going home. It's my hometown. And then I'm going back to my Oh, are you going back to see your family first? Yeah. Oh, I see. I have some family coming down. From out of state? Oh. Are you not originally from Texas? No, I am. I am. Uh, like, pretty much all of our family dispersed. Like, they moved to the States. So, they're from Texas. This is my mom. Uh, I see the plan. Your family is zero. And they're like, you know, we can have everyone here in Texas, but with such a huge family, why not disperse in different states <laughs> in case anyone comes over instead of paying hundreds of dollars for hotels? Exactly. And you get a good experience of the good, best food restaurants, too. Oh, yeah. That's some smart thinking your family has. <laughs> What was your name, by the way? I think in this conversation, the tonality is a lot better. Like, the girl can feel that he's making jokes. It's a bit more playful. Doesn't sound as robotic, which is good. Mm -hmm. I would say the main thing that's probably in the girl's mind is actually what we pointed out. Because as good as the conversation is, she's thinking, okay, well, I need to take my bike out and go home. Yeah. So that's why in a situation like this, it's extremely important that you address the elephant in the room and you say that and you bring that out because that gives the girl the option to say, actually, yeah, I do need to go home. Or she can also say, oh, don't worry about it. You know, I'm not in a rush because in conversations and situations like this, imagine like we're recording this video and there was seven monkeys dancing behind our back and we never talked about the seven monkeys you guys wouldn't be listening to what we're saying you would be like why is no one talking about what's in the background yeah. it's the same thing for a girl and for anyone you meet if there's something obvious going on in the situation 
but you don't call it out, then in the other person's mind, no matter how interested or attracted to you they might be, they're thinking like, can this guy see I'm trying to take out my bike? Like, uh, yeah, that cool looks selfish or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, I agree. And also, I don't know if they're, they're watching the video, but uh, we can see how is the distance between the people, like mm -hmm. from the guy and the girl. And I like that he's trying to meet her, but he's not like a, so close to her, like a, trying to be in her personal space mm -hmm. or self space. I don't know how to say it. Well, he's blocked by the bikes. Yeah, but the bikes are like the friends of the girl dragging the girl away. <laughs> no, yeah, don't security, talk to her. The security system of the girl are the other bikes. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 but. I'm saying the good facts that I see in, the, in this thing. Yeah, what I would do if I was in that situation is just say, hey, do you need to take your bike out? No. Let me help you. Let me help help you. the girl out. And then you're actually next to her, which shows, you know, you care about the girl or you care about people, yeah. which is always good. And second thing is now you can be a bit closer to her because it is a bit awkward to just have an army of bikes when you're trying to talk to someone. No, but I like the idea to help always. It's welcome. <laughs> My name is Mazen. Nice to meet you. That was a good move. So what do you do for fun then, outside of studying with lots of exams? Right. And not, but not traveling with your family to different states? I think around this point in the recording, the cameraman started tripping out on his mushroom trip, so we can't see anything. <laughs> okay, so you like to travel when you can for the breaks. Mm -hmm. For me, what I like to do for fun is when I can. I like to travel to different places to experience the great cultures and the scenes. Besides Austin, I went to Miami. I'm sorry, but when I was preparing for the IELTS, I told a story story. <laughs> I started like a memorizing the questions that of course the other person going to make to me and I like I repeated like, every time that I was practicing at home the grammar and I said like for example they're going to ask me like what is your name are you studying or working if you're studying what are you studying and I memorize everything I think that I can see in this guy that definitely like yeah, well, in my case, that I want to do for fun is blah, blah, blah. And I'm traveling because I want to the culture. Da, 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 like he's counting. Like for me, it's very memorized. So to you, it doesn't feel like it's in the moment. That doesn't, doesn't look authentic. I'm sorry. Yeah. So what I would say to add to this, this is very subtle. Most people will miss this. You can see in the video, the girl is like leaning down onto the wall. And from the way the conversation started, she's probably shyer than most girls you would meet. So in a situation like that, you don't want the girl to be leaning over a wall because personally, she doesn't have personal space to step back if, he, if she needs yeah, to. And I say at the beginning, like I was a good distance because she keeps her personal space. Mm -hmm. And now, like, yeah, definitely that girl is... Now it's like a shark attack. No, but yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, of <laughs> course. No, 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 it's a good joke. <laughs> is he doing a shark attack bit yet? No. Oh, wait, there he goes. Yeah, if I were her, oh my god, I would like, what is going on? I want to take my bike and and bikes biking cycling. You would pull a Harry Potter yeah, and so try to fast. go through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so that's another thing to keep in mind. You want to give the girl enough space so that she has the option to always leave. Yeah, like and if that. it's in a closed environment. Again, this is where empathy comes in. You don't want to trap the girl because then that makes the person feel uncomfortable, which yeah. probably isn't your intention. I don't think, you know, the person in the video is doing that intentionally, but it's something to build yeah, more awareness and, on. And we have to be honest, like uh, that things happens. Um, maybe woman, we are like, uh, like 
very alert. Yeah, because the world just teaches us like yeah. we have to do like that. I, I have to say this in this video again, it's not personal. Yeah, exactly. So basically you want to give the person space mm. because if you have good intentions, it's just better to come in with more empathy. And if the girl can actually see that you can pick up on things like this, it's very attractive because that shows a very advanced level of social intelligence. So if I was in this conversation, I would say, hey, look, um, you seem like you need a bit more space. Do you want me to help you take your bike out? If you need to go, that's totally fine. I thought you're you're very cute and I had to say something. So no pressure on my end. And when you say that, the girl is going to be like, oh, my God, finally a man who truly understands how I feel. Yeah, we are going to be like, oh, an alien or an stranger. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> you look really, really hot. Oh. A few months ago. And if you think Austin's a party city, oh no, <laughs> Miami takes a cake. You got the party side, and you got the relaxing ocean beach side too, as well. <laughs> you got an interesting dynamic. It's like, yeah. it's like all these party people are here, and then all these people are just wanting to chill and get away. All here too in Miami. I'm a woman, no. If you didn't notice, <laughs> I'm a woman, <laughs> and I know what are the things that we do with our expressions. Mm -hmm. When you touch like this, like. I like how she's doing, sorry. Uh, it's like, a, oh my God, what is happening? Like, I just leave me alone. Like, a, sorry, but I can see that she's really uncomfortable. You think so? Yeah, but it's for her personality. I think, no, it's, I think her. it's a mix of like, she's interested, but she's a bit nervous. Yeah. Like, it's not like, go away. No, 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 but no. But no, it's no. more that she's curious, but she's still a bit on edge. Like, she's uncomfortable in the way like... Uh, like um okay sometimes when some when when a guy come to us and we don't have the perfect outfit of things like that we are like oh, why this girl that this man why is, this man came to me now that guy, when i have the worst outfit ever things like that i think that that was that move like that. she is uncomfortable for something that is going on she's self-conscious could be okay and if they were to come together as one there would be never any conflicts and battles with each other right now but yeah, I personally love to travel around and also when I can, work out too as well. Cool. So I know you have to head out right now, but do you like coffee or tea? Um, not particularly. Not particularly? Okay. Cool. All right. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó is what happened. You're confused because yeah. he just left. Yeah, ¿por qué? Yeah, so... Why? I think what happened is he kind of tried to understand, okay, is this girl up for doing something? And it's one of those situations where if someone gives you a bit of a hesitant response, I think he got in his head a bit. Up to this point, the conversation was fine. The main thing that was missing is just the empathy part, giving the girl a bit more space. And I think that's why the girl was a bit hesitant in terms of doing something in the future because... A lot of the time, women will take less risks, like they will want to prioritize their safety. So if they're interested in a guy, but there's a few things where they don't feel safe about the guy, they're just not going to go on a date. Whereas if you're a guy and you feel the same way about a girl, you're probably just going to go on a date and see what happens. So I think in this situation, the girl was a bit on edge and then... The moment she gave a bit more of a neutral response instead of something positive, the guy kind of get got in his head, and unfortunately, the conversation died down. Why happened that? I'm 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 really confused for sure. Like if I were the girl, I was like, oh, okay. Ah, now you see. Sometimes if you leave conversations abruptly, the girl's thinking, why didn't he? Why didn't he take my number? Yeah. What? Why? I think he just got nervous. Okay. It happens. <laughs> you look so sad. Yeah. A love story that will never okay. surface. Wait, I need a time to recover my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
that's today's conversation hope you guys enjoyed you know at the end when the girl is a bit hesitant and she wasn't up for a coffee or tea it felt like you're editing something on your computer and microsoft just gives an error and you're like <laughs> and then you look at your computer you're like what happened and then everything just seems like a blur <laughs> So instead of being in that situation where you feel like, oh shit, things went wrong, I don't know what to do now, I'm going to leave, you know, sometimes things happen. So you could say, hey, look, I don't want to pressure you onto anything, but I thought you looked cute. Do you want to grab a coffee another time? Or what's your number? Yeah. And also, if she says no, then that's an actual no, and that's fine. I also understood the situation of the guy. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, if, if I say no for a coffee or tea, like, uh, I understand why he reacted like that. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I would be like a source of shame. Like, I'm sorry. Like, que pena. Uh, que pena. But, yeah, I, I, it's completely fine. Yeah. So, good work on this conversation. Good work. If you guys are seeing this video, let us know <coughs> what was your biggest takeaway what you want to learn in this channel we will make a video about that thanks for watching subscribe down below and we will see you in the next one in el próximo capítulo bye bye Ciao.